Hi guys, it's Grape Juice. We're gonna be watching an animation. It it was made by S. Wu Zai. I don't really know that name, but let's just get into it. I'm on the guard stand. These two girls come out looking so nice. I get bumped off the guard stand and I start picking up towels and I make my way over to these girls. One is named Nikki and the other one is named D. But I'm trying to holler at Nikki. I start talking to these girls for like 15 minutes. Then I'm like, hey, y'all want anything? Like it's on me. Water, Shirley Temple, some champagne and dinner for the fireplace. Like whatever y'all need, I got you. But we'll take two Shirley Temples. I come back with these drinks. There's some random dudes sitting next to them trying to spit game. I'm thinking to myself, I hope you ain't trying to holler at the same girl. I'm trying to holla at bruh because i can make you disappear i'm fresh out i know people that know people and i'll make it look like an accident too when the cops show up and start asking questions i'd be like officer we was all hanging out i looked down at my phone i look up he stabbed himself the stab wound was in his back the dude slipped and fell backwards on a knife there's 47 stab wounds in his back though he's a clumsy dude i don't know my shift's over, I go to wardrobe, change into my street clothes, and then go back out to the pool deck. Now, just doing that alone, I can get written up for. No fraternizing with the guests. Next day comes. These girls are by the pool deck all day long. So, same deal. Whenever I get free time, I go over and talk. Me, Danny, D, and Nikki. My shift's over, street clothes, back out to the pool deck. See, here's the thing. Up until this point, I've never hooked up with a guest. I'm not trying to get fired over smooching with this girl. We're all chilling out next to a cabana. All of a sudden, me okay. and Dan start going at bro, it. Nikki bro. Like, so, yeah, this is actually our last night here. We're leaving tomorrow morning. My parents, they came with us. They got other places they need to go. You came with your parents? Thought y'all came here, like, by yourself. I gotta kiss this girl, but I can't do it out here on the pool deck. Hard Rock got cameras out the butt. So I'm like, yo, let me walk you to your room one time. So I snatch her up. I walk her around the corner to the stairwell. We walk up about three floors, and then she stops and leans up against the wall and just looks at me like, what's up? And I start moving in, and I get closer and closer, and she closes her eyes, and I close my eyes, and I kind of just lean there next to her like an idiot. I'm just leaning next to her for a good like four minutes. Then then I took her back to her room. The next day, I had to work at 2 p.m. At 11 o'clock, jump in my car, drive to work. I look to my left as soon as I walk out onto the pool deck. First table next to me, Nikki and Nikki's mom and dad. I'm like, yo, y'all got room for one more? I look at Nikki and she is triggered. Then she goes, I'm going to the bathroom. D, come with me. And that's another thing. Why do girls always go to the bathroom together? That's always confused me. Are all public restrooms for ladies escape rooms? And it's like a puzzle where you need two or three people to figure out how to escape. Anyways, the girls go off. So it's me, Dan, and the parents. And the dad looks at me and he goes, So, I understand you've been canoodling with my daughter the last few days. I start getting scared looking at all the exits because he knows I work here. I can't think of a scenario where he finishes this sentence and it ends positively. So then he looks at me and he goes, why didn't you kiss my daughter last night? Wait, 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 wait. What dad says this? And I give it a few more seconds to see if he's gonna be like, ha just kidding. This dude was dead serious. And I look to the mom for help and she ain't trying to help me. She has her hands on her hips like, what kind of freaky family is this? <laughs> Wait, well, well, sir, I... It's just the good guy complex. We leave in 30 minutes. Throw the nice guy out the window because I'm not about to be on the plane for the next four hours with my daughter all moody and depressed and sad. So Nikki and Dee come back and they sit down. So I walk Nikki up to the lobby. It pro probably the worst place I could have taken her because everybody at front desk knows me. The GM walks through here all the time. Like, I shouldn't even be seen in regular clothes hanging out with guests. Danny and Dee find us, and they sit next to us, and as soon as they sit down, they're rolling over us. Danny's feet are, like, in my face. I'm, like, pushing his feet out of my face as they make out. They're just going at it. Well, me and Nikki are just sitting here in silence because I'm nervous AF and scared, too. I'm cold. Never kissed a girl before. And the dad walks into the lobby. Where's my daughter in that boy? 
much you wanna bet? He ain't, uh, that yellow turd ain't even kissed her yet. Dolores, fetch me my shotgun. You just mean mugging me. The dad gets in the line for front desk, waiting to check out. So I look at Nikki and I'm like, Nikki, let's let's take. And I won't be talking. Walking, a lot. Make eye contact in with this, so. Any mouth. That's why you never see me talking a lot. Kiss her. In dad here. is gonna kill me if I don't make out with his daughter. When you pass front desk off to the right, they have these rooms and they're phone booths, but they're like rooms with just a single phone in it and one tiny little light. Take her in there, grab her, pin her up against the wall. Boom. Oh my God. Her lips were so soft, y'all. Oh my god. You know when you go to Krispy Kreme and you catch the glazed donuts right off the production line when they pour that hot glaze right on, you bite into it? That's exactly what it was like. <laughs> Five minute, but subscribe to this channel and subscribe to the Grape Juice. Bye! Whoa, whoa.